Hi, this is Adam with Wholesale Septic Supply. We had an interesting question on the YouTube channel last week, and so we're going to address that because it does happen, and I actually had to go out with somebody and fix a septic system that had this same problem. So what was happening was he was getting a, a, a light chirp from the alarm, and uh, it wasn't a full beep like this. So he, it wasn't a full noise. It was just really faint. And he said, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. I've cleaned the system out. It seems to be better, uh, but I'm still getting some feedback. So I said, okay, one of the things you can do uh, is you can check your, there's only two things hooked up to the alarm, okay? So on this one, you can pull one of these wires or both of them, okay? And if you still have feedback coming through because now you've disconnected everything, all right? So if you still have feedback coming through, then the only other culprit that it could be is your alarm float in your septic system. So what the alarm float is going to do uh, is going to cause, um, it'll cause feedback. So this one's a panel that we made up, so there's, there's some extra wires in here. But what you would do is you would disconnect these two wires here, and if it went away, it would be a dead giveaway that it's the float switch. So because the, these are the only wires coming through here, you have the float wires coming in for the uh, alarm, uh, coming here, and then going into here. So we would disconnect these, or just one of them. You get no feedback. Okay, so we're in the office now, and we're gonna show you on a more traditional panel what you're gonna be looking at. So on this one, you can see that the air alarm here is hooked into here, it says air. And these two are connected, the high water alarm and this by a bridge bridge wire here. So this one's hopping over to here. So on this one, you do the same thing. You're gonna disconnect this and you're gonna find out, okay, is it my air switch or not? Okay, it's still making the noise. So then you would come here and you would disconnect these two pull them out you'll want to kill the power just so you don't shock yourself then your if your feedback goes away your your little chirping goes away and it's going to be real faint then uh then you know it's your high water alarm so then you're going to go to your high water alarm change your high water alarm out and uh be done with the situation that's how you would that's how you'd find out uh what component it is of the septic system so you can eliminate the guesswork so as soon as you find out what component it is, then you can go and, and fix it. So uh, we're gonna show you what the alarm float looks like. It's usually your top float uh, on a on-demand system. If you have a spray system, if you have a drip system, it'll probably be your middle float. So you'll have your control float, alarm float, and then you have your override float. So it'll be that middle float. Change that out and then your problem should be solved. No feedback will be coming through. Uh, the chirp will go away, all that stuff. It happens because water, uh, usually infiltrates them. The avocado floats have a big problem right now with uh, water infiltrating into them. They actually have a hole in them and that's where they spray the foam in. But what we've been seeing is a lot of corrosion on the top, which means the switch itself is degrading and it doesn't really take that long for that to happen. So uh, there's a lot of issues with that particular style of float and they'll give a lot of feedback. So uh they just go faulty whether it's for control or for alarm or doesn't doesn't really matter there's they're a lot of problems with them right now so um that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and ask them but we thought we'd go ahead and show you that show you how you can troubleshoot that real quick uh if you need some help troubleshooting call the office and we'll be happy to answer some questions for you all right hope you guys have a great day